Hey there again, it's Dusty Thunder with another AITA story for you. This one is, am I the astronaut for wanting my son to stop playing sports? Fake account, I-42 male have one son with my ex-wife. We have been divorced for nine years. She has full custody. I get him every other weekend. My issue is that he has played soccer and bowling for years. It has interfered with my time. He seems to have something every Saturday. I asked his mom if he could take a break. She told me if I wanted him not to play, I had to tell him. So I called my son. He's 13. I told him that playing sports is taking too much of my time. Plus, I don't like that he has broken two bones and countless bruises and scrapes. I'm afraid people will think he is abused. Just two weeks ago, he showed up with three cuts on his leg. When I asked his mom, she was like, who knows? He's always out and about. So after I told him, he basically said he wants to keep playing, that soccer is his favorite and bowling is fun too. He basically told me I never go anyway, so it's not a big deal. Now he is right. I never played sports, so I don't get the fun. I called his mom and said he wants to play, but I won't control anymore. I did say again that I don't like the idea of him playing. He has broken two bones. I did tell her I may consider talking to a lawyer. She laughed. Am I the asshole? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. How self-absorbed do you have to be to write this statement and not see how it's wrong? Hold on. He said, I told him that playing sports is taking too much of my time. Wow. Dude. Wow. Um, okay. You know, normally when parents have kids who play sports, either you can get involved with them and really turn it into a bonding experience by helping them get better, going with them to practices, finding ways to help encourage them. But also when you go to soccer matches or or games or the bowling tournaments, you're not there because you enjoy the freaking sport. You might enjoy the sport and that would be a bonus, but you're there to cheer on your child. You're there to support your child. You're not there for you. And now I understand why she has full custody and why his son really doesn't want anything to do with him because it's never been about the son. This guy can only think about himself and just isn't connecting the dots here and seeing how this is just completely selfish. Your child wants to keep playing sports and you don't want him to just because it takes up too much of your time. Well, guess what, dude? Your ex-wife, it takes up a lot of her time too, but I'm guessing that she isn't bitching about it because it's something that he has a passion for and she's supporting him. Wow. Wow. I was a band geek in school. Um, I mean, I, I played football like in middle school, junior high, but, but I was a band geek and I have my youngest boy. He has a lot of natural talent that I never did possess and he's a football player. And a damn good football player. And and I love it. I love going to practice with him. I love throwing the ball in the yard. You know, he's into it and has this natural ability. And I can be like, heck yeah, man. How can I help you pursue that? I don't have it. I don't necessarily get it because I was never that way. I clicked in different areas. But how can I help you? How can this be an experience for us to connect better and grow together? And how can I help make this path easier for you? And you can bet your ass that every time there's a game, I'm going to be there cheering my ass off. I love football, but it's not because I love football. It's because I love my son. I don't think this guy understands what loving your child means. For that very reason, we don't even have to bring up the scale for this one, guys. Hi, Dad. You're an asshole. A big one. You went straight to Uranus with the NASCON 1 rating. Maybe stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about your kid. Just a thought. You know, something to consider. I don't want to take up too much of your time here, but you might think about how big of an asshole you are. Whenever you have a child that plays sports, then you're doing sports with them. That's what it's about. Like you can't punish your child. And that's what this would be in this case. This 13 year old boy would be punished if he quit playing sports so he could go spend more time with his dad. He could be with his dad. His dad could bring him to the game. His dad could be there to cheer him on. Those games don't last forever. His dad could be there with him at the end of the game and go take him out for for food or or ice cream or talk about the game, have the long car ride back, and then they could have their time together. You're talking about a couple of hours. You're not talking about the entire weekend, maybe a half day, depending on how far away that game is. But this could be something that they do together. And it's something that his son wants to do and his son is into. So yeah, I don't think expecting him to just drop everything just to be in his dad's house is just silly. It's a silly thing. And it punishes the child because the father has this selfish view of this is my time. Kids are tough, man. Kids are complicated, but I mean, we have five now, so I'd like to think that I've learned something along the way, but it's tough, man. It is really tough. And I can definitely tell you I've learned a whole lot since our first, who's now 20, coming up on 21. And our youngest is approaching two. So there's this huge gap in there. And I have a lot of experience that I I know what not to do 
now. And, you know, my oldest, Caden, he was never hugely into sports, but he was into a lot of other things. And I know with Brady, who's the youngest boy, I know that because he has this natural ability and he has this desire to do it, that if I do that with him, if I make myself a part of it with him and help encourage him along that path, he's going to be better. He's going to enjoy it more and we're going to have better quality time together. Now, again, I'm not a natural athlete. I don't have that kind of ability. I have like musical and technical skills and he has this amazing coordination that I just don't possess, but I'll help him work on drills. I'll watch YouTube videos to figure out what he needs to be working on. And then I'll help be a coach for him as he practices his stuff at home. I don't have the experience, but as a dad, I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think that's the best path that that lets you have the best relationship with your child. Because that story was focused on the son, I had the relatable story with our youngest boy, but the girls are the same way. They do cheer. And Kieran just started doing track. It's such a great thing for her to try something new. If you try to help them and help make it an experience with them, you can develop a stronger relationship by encouraging them along that path instead of resenting it because it's inconvenient for you. Yeah, it's inconvenient. Hell, just be glad you don't have a kid doing competition cheer or competition tumbling gymnastics stuff where they travel all over the country to do stuff. Just be glad you're not doing that.